Welcome to our design space. This is where uh, the chaos happens. <laughs> where do you source all this stuff from? Um, with the pandemic, we've get it from, I mean, different yarns from Italy, yarns from, I mean, all the places in the world and that we could produce over in China or here, really whatever is suitable for what we're trying to obtain. How many times do you have to sample to get it right? How many times do we have to sample to get things right? At least two or three times. At least two to three times. We usually hit it. Luckily, we, we kind of know the DNA of the brand and I built it to embrace mistakes. Okay. Sometimes the mistakes actually become brand identity, which is so fascinating, you know, like to be open to, to mistakes. I think that's what the best part of it is. I've seen Jay-Z wearing that hat a few times. I think there's just genuine love and friendship for the brand and for you know who I am as a, as a kid that's like trying. And I respect so much of what Rockefeller Records was, who he's created, even in music. You know, I don't, and I don't think I ever even really told him. Like I used to walk from school back home and I would listen to Reasonable Doubt. I would listen to those lyrics as if they were um, a business plan. You know, because it was yeah. really a business plan. It was mm -hmm. different from any other rap album. It was like a, you know, you got to understand how to see a product, sell a product, and turn that into a business. What is the most important advice that he's given you? Um, is not to share it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to share the advice, you know? It wouldn't be important advice if I shared it. How do you keep that balance between sort of the higher price point grail items that are brand defining, but maybe not necessarily the best in terms of margins mm -hmm. versus the stuff that you can churn very easily, like the screen printed t-shirts and whatnot. Right. I don't know, it's easy. I think you, you in a main event, there's always, a, in, in any concert, there is a stage that everyone performs and in concerts, there's seats. We come up with an idea such as like Monaco Grand Prix and we want to serve to almost every seat possible. You have to merchandise it as a full entire show. When we, we decide to make something, I want it to be needed. Yeah, I never want to make something that is, is it needed? And you know, as we build up what, uh, what products are we making and is it really for, for function or is it just a fashionable piece? You know? I think if it's a fashionable piece, it's just a of the moment thing. I don't want the whole timeline.